My situation is easily explained. It was after the year 2000, when the nuclear weapons pelted down on Earth. Politicians were concerned about climate change and other problems, but no one knew that a madman was secretly building nuclear weapons. He was of the opinion that when his natural lifetime expired, not only he would have to die, but all other people as well. Not a single human being should have the right to continue living. He devised a vicious plan with his henchmen, so that a chain reaction between his nuclear weapons and the ones of the world powers was triggered. Only very few people found sanctuary in nuclear shelters. But after more than 15 years, they realized that the scientists had been wrong. Their calculated prediction of when it would be possible to return to the Earth's surface was simply wrong. So the people have to stay in the bunker much longer than assumed. Which brings up the next inhuman problem. The supplies are not enough to keep all the people alive. Therefore, the decision was made that some survivors must leave the bunker. The decision is made by Lot. The past hours were the longest and darkest of my life. The Lot was not on my side. I was blindfolded, so that I could not find my way back to the bunker. Sentenced to death, without water, food, medication. Abandoned in the forest, in the middle of the night. This is pure horror. I want to have a hint of a chance. I should see to it that I get out of the forest. Fast. I have no idea where I am. Maybe I should follow this path as an orientation. Normally, they lead somewhere. Fuck! What was that? My heart's beating out of my chest. I don't see anything. This stupid flashlight is as bright as a teak. I'm stumbling around like a zombie with my stomach twisting. At some point, I need something to eat. Otherwise, this won't end well. And now I'm already starting to talk to myself. It's not funny anymore. Oh, I really had to pick the short end of the stick. Damn it!
What has mankind done to itself? For years, they talked about global warming, CO2, diesel cars, and so on and so forth. But no one was expecting this. Dude, where am I? This damn forest must end somewhere. gun. Not only do I have a perforated liver and a beastly headache, no, now I've hurt myself. Man, I should be more careful in the future.
I can wander around here some more, but that won't make it any better. I should set up my camp back there in the corner by the red metal gates. I feel like I'm at boot camp here. I'm crawling through the mud like a teenager. What was that? I'm so fucked. I have to get out of here. But where should I go? I don't know much, but I know that I won't stay here any longer than necessary. As soon as the sun rises, I'm gonna hightail it and get out of here. not to break my bones with all the trash lying around. down there. Now the fun is over. I'm not going another meter, and no, I don't want to know what's behind the door either.
Obviously, the industrial area ends here, and my favorite district begins. The fucking forest! I remember them talking about the death of the forest back then. I guess that doesn't apply to this region at all. Who's there? Show yourself! Come here and I'll kill you! I'll burn your retinas with my flashlight! I think they must belong to the most expensive cabs in the world. You know, the ones that pick you up from a party with alcohol poisoning. But the extended service with the overnight stay and breakfast via infusion, not something to be scoffed at. What is this? Hello? Is there anybody here? Oh, if it goes on like this, I'll be more in need of a washing machine than a campsite.
thinking about it, I think I once read that dry food like flour, sugar, and chips do not take radioactivity. I should find more of that stuff. It may make you fat, but I think that's the least of my problems at the moment.
Ow!
there by whatever. I'll take the bunker. Maybe I can persuade whatever it is in there to have a walk around the yard. Preferably when the blast wave comes. I'm confused. There's no one here, and there's no other door leading into a tunnel system or something. I could have sworn I heard noises coming from the bunker. It's a shitty day to stop drinking. I think I'm going to linger here for a few hours, and then I'll see what happens next. Several questions arise for me. A. Where did the nuclear bomb come from? The war is long over and the bomb will have hardly taken the wrong direction. And B. Do I want to stay here? But that question is easy to answer. Absolutely not.
bridge made of boards. Now, these might not be the planks that saved my life, but they are the planks that prevent me from being up to my neck in water. Think about it. I'm not going to carry that heavy, bulky stuff around. I'm sure wherever that trip ends up, I'll find something there that will help me. The sun is starting to set. I'm certainly not going to spend another night in the woods. I should get going and leave the forest. If you want to have a look, I'm back to civilization, just in time before the night makes its grand entrance. An old truck! And what a shape! Wow, the design- That thing looks like a shabby cabin, and that's it. It must have been here since the 15th century, the way it looks. I think as soon as I touch it, it'll collapse. 